Hi there, it's Jenny, your friendly neighborhood nail technician. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. You can also go to my website and get lots of free stuff. I do Periscope, blog, have free guided meditations, workshops, and a weekly video show for nail techs. I'm also on Snapchat, but you're here for now, so let's get started. I do it yourself on how to temporarily fix lifting nails. So if you've ever gone to get your nails done and they look so pretty and gorgeous and you love it, and then three days goes by and you realize, oh no! That there's lifting and you just want to pick at it and bite it and it's driving you crazy well I'm going to teach you how to fix that I'm also going to fix this weird bump it's a little bit too heavy on the back of the nail here that's not where the apex should be it needs to be more forward so we're going to file that down too I'm going to start by using C&D's cuticle eliminator it's like shampoo for your nails it like scrubs the cuticles and breaks up all the icky tissue but we're going to go ahead and use this metal implement to push the cuticle back Make sure you stay parallel to the nail plate. You can also use an orange wood stick if you have one. Next, I'm going to use what's called the curette. It's this sharp little tool where you can go around in circular motions and really clean all the pterygium off of the nail plate, which is really what cuticle is. But make sure you grab a rough, coarse file. We're going to go around in circular motions and just file the back of those nails. You want to file it down Thin so that you can remove the lifting but you also don't want to neglect um, the rest of the nail so make sure you file around the back around the cuticle area and then start to pull forward if that makes sense you'll see what I'm gonna do here in a minute so we're filing around and around and around and then see how we've got that all scratched up there and then we're gonna start pulling forward then once you get that done you can also you know shape make sure that the side walls are straight and the free edge is a pretty you know forward that the shapes pretty and forward everything's coming together exactly how you want it once you get that shape in then I'm gonna remove the dust and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go fix that weird bumpy one do the same thing clean it and then you'll see that a lot of the lifting has been removed with the file but take some cuticle clippers and just gently around where the cuticle is um, or where the nail is lifting just drag the cuticle nippers forward and if it catches nip it if it doesn't catch leave it alone so don't go crazy here trying to you know over clip your enhancement once you've done that go ahead and blend it all into your natural nail plate again by going over it one more time with the coarse file do not over file your natural nail I've been doing this a while so I know a little bit about not going too deep into your natural nail now I'm going to use another file that's not as coarse go around and pull forward do the exact same process after you've done that you're going to want to use a buffer but a coarse buffer to remove some of the scratches on the nails. I'm also going to clean up the shape here a little bit. And the reason you don't want to use a high gloss buffer is because then your top coat will not stick to the nail as it's supposed to. But this buffer will take out the scratches and so your nails will look really pretty. So use a little bit of water and your brush, clean all the dust off, get it all nice and clean. And then you want to grab one of your little comp pads and scrub fresh. Scrub fresh temporarily dehydrates the nail plate and removes any surface contaminants and oil. Really scrub that nail plate, dehydrate it, get under the free edge and remove dust. And it should look like this, all pretty. Now snag your favorite top coat. I love CND's um, Super Shiny, that's my favorite. Start a little bit more towards the center of the nail and push back. It's a little nail check secret when it comes to polishing. And I will do a video in the future on how to polish your nails perfectly. But for now, just go ahead and get that top coat on there and give it a little bit to dry and then do a second coat. And honestly, this top coat is not a quick dry top coat, but I think I only waited like 30 seconds to a minute before I applied my second coat. I did flood the cuticle a little bit there, so I'm just going to clean that up with an orange wood stick. We don't want any product on the skin at all because that's what causes lifting in the first place. If you need to, use a cleanup brush and some acetone and go around the nail. Completely up to you. 
Once we've done that, they should look beautiful and they are ready to be polished to your desire, painted or left clear, however you want them until you have time to get in to see your nail technician and get your fill. So this will hold you off for a little bit before you can get in to get a fill where you're not gonna be tempted to pick or lift up those nails. Now after it dries for a little bit, you wanna grab your cuticle oil. Again, my favorite is C&D Solar Oil. Mm, I love this stuff. It smells like amaretto, delicious. Go around the cuticle and under the free edge. This will prevent your natural nail from curling away from the enhancement. So I hope you enjoyed that do-it-yourself with fixing the lifting again. My name is Jenny at Jenny A. Hansen, and please like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Lots of love, have a beautiful day, bye.